All right guys, so we're gonna winterize our equipment today. So first things first, we're gonna start with our main pressure washer. All right, so to winterize your engine, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, we didn't film this part. Uh, you get a full tank of gas and dump some stable in the, in the tank of gas, and then just run your engine for three, four, or five minutes, just kind of cycle it through um, the, entire, the entire engine. So you can see we got the pump here, and then this is our outlet to our loader. And then this is the pressure line that runs to the hose. So basically what we're gonna do is disconnect this, we'll end up blowing this out with an air compressor. And then we're gonna disconnect the inlet to our pump and then pour antifreeze in through the inlet. Then we'll have to cycle the pull cord on the engine a few times with the key in the off position. That way you don't get spark and the pressure washer does the start on accident but that's gonna cycle that antifreeze in through the pump and prevent that from freezing. All right, so now we popped this hose and got that all out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and drain this, get all the extra water out of there. And then once again, that's the inlet to our pump. So then I'm gonna go ahead and have my helper hold that vertical. We're gonna pour- That's me. You're gonna pour. RV antifreeze, we just bought this Prestone stuff from Walmart. And we're gonna just basically fill that tube up and then cycle that through the pump, like I said. So, so we got our bucket sitting at the outlet from the pump. And then this is our inlet that we're filling. All right, so now that we got our antifreeze in that line, uh, we got to cycle it through here. So make sure your key is turned off, our gas is also off, and we're just gonna pull this, you know, five or 10 times. So we can already, already see the antifreeze coming through. We're just gonna keep running it to pull it out of the So the last part of winterizing our pump is draining the bypass line from our unloader. So we've already loosened our uh, clamp here. We're just heating it up to be able to pull this off. And once we get there, it's just a simple drain all the water left in this line and reattach it for the winter. All right, so same principle for the soft wash system. We went ahead and unhooked our outlet to our hose reel as well as the inlet from our proportioner. And then we're just gonna run antifreeze through this pump. All right, so you can see we got the antifreeze at the inlet and we're just gonna go ahead and turn the pump on for a brief minute. So now that we've got our pressure washer taken care of and our soft wash system taken care of, now we just have to worry about the tanks and then the hose reels. So for the tanks, all we're gonna do is go ahead and let our water IBC tote drain out. And to do that, we just opened up the valve at the back. We already removed our plumbing when we took care of the pressure washer, but whatever kind of drain you have there, just let all the water drain straight out of that tote. And then as far as the bleach tank for our soft wash system, we basically emptied that as well. There's a little bit left in the bottom, but we'll just go ahead and pull our drop stick just on the off chance that that does freeze. At least it's just freezing in the tank. It's going to be fine. Bleach does have a lower freezing point than water too, so it probably will not even freeze, especially in indoor storage. If you are storing your trailer outdoor, maybe worry about the bleach, especially in northern climates, but should be fine for us. All right, so for the hose reels, all I did was grab an air compressor and want to hook up something that looks like this. I just had this fitting, came with the Harbor Freight Kit. And it's basically going to slide into our pressure hose. It's better, it's best if you have a rubber end on that so it actually gets a tight seal, but this is going to get the job done. So all I'm going to do is insert that and apply pressure and it should drain out the other end of the
So we'll just keep doing this until there's no water coming out or very little water coming out. So now that we got our pressure hose drain, it's the exact same process for our soft wash hose. So again, just hooking up the air compressor and letting it drain out the other end of the line up there. So for the mobile pressure washer, again, you're going to want to run your stable through. So fill up your fuel tank, dump some of this in, run it for a couple minutes, obviously connect it to a water supply so you don't burn up the pump. But that's going to take care of the fuel system. And then they have this pump saver from Lowe's. You can find this at Lowe's, Home Depot, most hardware stores. So what this is gonna do is actually just screw into your pump inlet and then you just squeeze the top of the can. So we'll go ahead and do that. Actually need a new can of it. Well, that's the principle of it. You just run, this is an antifreeze and pump lubricant. So that's just running that through your pump and out the outlet. So you should see antifreeze and, and or water that was left in the pump coming out of the outlet. And guys, winter's a great time to do the rest of your basic maintenance. So refer to your owner's manual or our other video on how to maintain these. But you're gonna wanna check your air filter, do the pump oil and the engine oil. It's a good convenient time, that way you can pull it fresh out of storage in the spring and you're ready to go.